There were a few dozen we could have done without as well. Idiots from the Leicester end who ripped up seats and threw chunks of wood at those below. A taste of things to come. The first danger on the pitch came from Burton's central defender Nigel Sims, whose main task was to shadow Gary Lineker. When Froggart got in his cross, Andrews was relieved to get to Sims' header. After 17 minutes of skidding around, Leicester struck. A clinical turn and finish from Gary Lineker, the man Burton were dreading. It looked easy. Remarkably, though, Albion equalised within seven minutes when David Vaughan was allowed to shoot underneath Andrews. It was the signal for Leicester supporters but Burton's joy was short-lived. After 25 minutes, their goalkeeper Paul Evans, who was at the end packed by Leicester supporters, was hit by a missile and knocked unconscious. It's this incident which Burton may use as the basis for their argument that the game should be replayed. But Leicester had mastered the conditions. Banks' free kick gave Smith goal number two. Wilson and Banks linked up for the third, a spectacular near-post header from Lineker. We were told that goalkeeper Paul Evans had been violently ill at half-time. He was certainly lacking in sharpness as Alan Smith made it 4-1. The non-leaguers were really struggling now. Banks and Wilson made progress for Lineker to provide the cross for Linex to score. And there were vast open spaces as Lineker ran on to get his hat trick. 6 1 to Leicester, but Burton still angry about the incident involving Paul Evans. It must be the quietest ever welcome that Leicester have had before a big match. Although Burton from the Northern Premier League are more used to playing in front of just a few. Only 100 club officials were allowed in to watch, and it was their muffled applause that greeted the Leicester team as they ran out into the empty stadium. The press were there, of course, in force, and the phone lines were buzzing after just three minutes and 50 seconds when Paul Ramsey shot Leicester into the lead. I'm sure everyone was expecting another landslide, but Burton came back bravely, and the Leicester goal had one or two narrow escapes. The man who so nearly gave Leicester a fright was the Burton number nine, Stuart Mell, who would have got the equaliser, if not for a fine save by Ian Andrews. And minutes later, Mell had Leicester struggling again, although the finish was way off the mark. So, plenty for City manager Gordon Milne to tell his team about at half-time, and Burton kept up the pressure in the second half. Their best chance to equalise fell to winger Paul Froggart, but again, Andrews was there. After that, Leicester's first division class began to show, and Gary Lineker was unlucky with this shot. Then it was goalkeeper Paul Evans' turn to keep Burton going with the best save of the match. There were more escapes to come, though, and Leicester hit the post again. This time, it was Steve Linex. With just about the last kick of the game, Burton nearly stole an equaliser, but Leicester had won 1 0. Do you think the lack of atmosphere got to you more? <laughs> ah, it's a it completely <laughs> unreal situation, and uh, I think it's totally unfair to ask professionals, whether they're part time or full time, uh, to produce the goods in that environment. But do you feel now that justice has been done, everybody's happy? Well, uh, Burton wanted another crack at it, and they had one today, and uh, didn't let themselves down at all.